Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this. They said they tried to scan it. It's actually two pieces of plywood looking like glued on top of each other. It's a mason jar. Several years ago, I posted this on Epilogue's Facebook page. I just put it on my Facebook page. So if you'd like to have this mason jar, uh, we were doing it years ago for save the date type deal for a wedding. So let's just, uh, this won't trace. Uh, it, it'll trace a little bit, but it's not worth it. So we're gonna break this apart and we're actually gonna use this one and, and feel free to ask for it. I'll have my email and I'm gonna hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now, because this has a border in this other wood, we need to, we need to create that. So we're gonna to go to effects and contour. We're gonna contour two steps with rounded corners, a quarter of an inch. Now, it messed up the ridges, but we can fix that because the original doesn't have ridges. It's just smooth. And there are several ways we could do it, but it's gonna, we're gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna go to object and break the contour apart still go to object and ungroup it. That made every one of these pieces a little bit um, individual. So we're gonna grab the smoothing tool which came with X7 or above. We'll put it like on one inch. And we're gonna click on that first one and we're just gonna smooth that out. It's that easy. Then click on the second one and smooth it out. You could actually use it you know, bigger like two inch and it would do it faster or you could take your shape tool and delete these two nodes. And then just kind of make it look a little uniform. Now we can't do that on both sides exactly the same. So once you've got this one the way you want it, uh, you know, I would make it a little bit smoother. That looks pretty good. We can't mimic that equally. So what we're gonna do, because we're working the center of the page, draw a line, hit P, put it in the center of the page. Take our virtual segment delete key and delete that. I'd go in and delete my line and I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate, holding down the control button until you get this double-sided arrow. And voila, there's your mason jar, uh, pretty much like it is. We're gonna, let's see how big this is. It's like almost seven inches. I've got my nudge factor set on eight. We're gonna take and fill that center deal in and move it over. There's our border. We can actually take these two lines and cut them out and then fill that in with our tool. And now we have both sections. Uh, with the exception, we don't have it completed yet, but left click, right click, and there's our two options. Now this one has the top line is kind of curved in. So we're gonna take this the shape tool, we need to delete those nodes, and then grab these two nodes and right click and turn them into a, well, we're just, they're curves, so we're gonna just leave it a curve. And then you can play around with that and do whatever you want to with it. Then what we're gonna do, it's got another, like a little lip deal. I would take the, uh, a rectangle and just put it about the, the wall thickness of the other one. I would actually, um, with it selected, turn it into a curve. And then let's look at these lines and right click and turn them into a curve, all of them. Now we're gonna grab all these and see it. Well, if we do that, it's gonna move it down. So let's just grab the middle. And that, Look, I've got a little bit more of a curve than, than his. So let me just move back a little bit. Let's put it, and you could do this with the nudge tool and make them more perfect. That looks pretty good. And then just take your smart field tool and delete these, or not smart field, uh, virtual segment delete key. Now take your smart field tool. Well, I missed a line. 
I missed that line right there, virtual segment delete key. I was looking at that right there. That's not gonna matter when we fill it in. Now the fill is in and there is your border. Left click, right click, there's your two pieces. Whoop. There's your two pieces ready to go. Now my jar is flatter on the bottom. That can be fixed. Uh, this has more of an oval. You know, if you want an oval, take the original shape that came with the file, which would be this shape right here, and make the, let's just do it real quick. Let's move all this out of the way. Let's hit P, put it in the center of the page. And let's grab a shape tool. Let's delete these nodes first. And let's just take the smoothing tool and see, let's make it bigger, like three inches. Click on it and just make it a little more rounder. And you can see what I'm doing compared to the other side. Quite a bit rounder. Now you want to do the exact, the exact same thing. P, put it in the center of the page. Take your virtual segment delete key. Delete that half. I always take away the line just so it won't get in the way. Control D and make a duplicate. Hold down the control button when you get that two point. And then fill it in with the smart fill tool. And it's going to kind of weld it together. Now my glass is almost equal to his in shape. You could have still, you could have played around with it a little bit more. But then that's where you would start if that's what you want. Then you would contour that line like I did earlier and just go about it. But this, I'll have a link to my Facebook page and my email if you'd like this mason jar. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.